Welcome back to MFO, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. And about, what was it? I think two weeks ago, I did an In the Pool Underwater Wednesday episode on the twin tail grub or the spider grub. And we showed you what that bait looks like underwater and in the pool, how it flutters and everything. Well, today is a day I'm on a lake that's got that kind of clear water that I want to use for a spider grub. So if I get around some docks and things like that, places where I feel like I, I'm going to throw it, I'm not, I'm going to, I'm going to not throw my go-to and, you know, toss a Cinco in there. And I'm going to throw the spider grub just to see whether or not I can get some bites using the spider grub. So, so come on with me and we'll, uh, we'll see how the day goes. We'll be back right after this guys. Welcome back to Mark Fisher Outdoors, everybody. I'm Mark Fisher. Guys, if you haven't, would you hit that subscribe button for me if you like this kind of content? We're going to be on the water today. We've been on the water quite a bit, trying to get on the water as much as we can and put some content out because pretty soon it's going to be, boat's going to be up and there isn't going to be much fishing going on for a couple of months. So, like I said, I'm out here and the lake that I got on when I, when I saw the water it's pretty clear and so it works it, it's the right kind of water to throw a spider grub or a twin tail grub so instead of me throwing a cinco which i would do if i was around docks anytime i'm around docks or lay downs things like that today i'm going to throw this spider grub and we're going to see how it works so come on along and let's see if we can catch them on the spider grub fish on the twin tail grub. That little spider grub bass in the fall. One of the things that I like about the spider grub is that fall. We showed you that fall in the pool and I just think that in clear water that grub falling down and fluttering down like that. It's slow, but it it can call a fish from, you know, a distance away when you're in that clear water. And although I do like it better in the summer, I don't know that, I don't think that it's going to be a bait that I can't use in the fall on a day like today. about this size, you know, they're just like 14 inch, 13, 14 inch.
a decent small mouth. There's a good one. Well, we got a couple of bites on that spider grub, on that twin-tailed grub. They weren't all very big, but, you know, it, it's definitely, um, you know, a bait that'll work. And I asked this the other day, and I don't think this bait is obsolete. I think you can still catch fish on it. And so this one was a chomper's uh, twin-tailed grub. I like the, the Yamamoto uh, twin-tailed grubs as well, but... That chompers with the uh, garlic scent, that always was something that I used back in the day. So, you know, I had them and we're going to keep using them. So, guys, we appreciate you tuning in. Stick around tomorrow for another episode of Mark Fisher Outdoors. Take care, everybody.